Mary had a little man, man, man. Wow. And a fall. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream today. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. We now, uh... Have our eyes on a very special place. You know what that place is? New Hampshire. It's game on in the Granite State, with game Donald on. Trump slamming Nikki Haley in his first rally since his dominating Iowa win. Oh, As please. you know, Nikki Haley in particular <laughs> is counting on the Democrats and liberals to infiltrate your Republican primary. The former president joined for the first time Ew. by former rival Vivek Ramaswamy, who dropped out of the race after Ew. finishing fourth in Iowa. I would endorse Donald J. Trump for president of the United States. Mr. Trump <laughs> arriving in New Hampshire after spending the day in court in New York City, attending jury selection in the second defamation case filed against him by writer E. Jean Carroll, in which he denies any wrongdoing. Mr. Trump was found civilly liable last year for sexually abusing her in the 90s and later defaming Carroll. With New Hampshire's first-in-the-nation primary now less than a week away and the next major contest in South Carolina a month later, Mr. Trump's remaining rivals trying different strategies to gain ground on him. We're putting Iowa in the, in the rearview mirror. In New Hampshire, Nikki ah. Haley, trailing Trump narrowly in some state polls, appearing with the state's popular GOP governor, casting the race here as a two-person showdown between what? her and the former president. We have saying? to leave the negativity and the baggage behind and go forward with new solutions for the future. While Ron oh, DeSantis, oh. who finished a distant second in Iowa, took his campaign to South Carolina Tuesday, a state where Trump has led in polls and where Haley served as governor. I mean, uh, you know, so Donald Trump uh, is dividing his time right now between a, uh, a rape trial in which he's been found liable which is the civil version of the word guilty. He's been found guilty. You understand that, right? And uh, the defamation portion is going to cost him $5 million. That's the first trial. That was the first trial that he lost. And he didn't attend that trial. Do you remember? He wouldn't show up. He didn't uh, set foot into the courtroom. He didn't want to testify. He said he would, but he never did. Blah, blah, blah. Well, now all of a sudden, his entire reelection strategy, it's so sick, is to be the ultimate victim. And so he's now attending the second trial brought by E. Jean Carroll uh, for defamation about her rape at the hands of Donald Trump, for which a jury said he was guilty. And not only does he continue to lie and decimate her character and call her somebody who made up the whole story as a journalist, okay? That is her role in, uh, in, in the career world. She's a journalist. And when she wrote about this in 2019, this is where this whole case started, in 2019, E.G. Carroll told the world about Donald Trump raping her in a Bergdorf Goodman dressing room in Manhattan. And he started right then to trash her. He started saying she was a liar. And he started saying she made the whole thing up and that he never met her. He never, ever met her. Didn't know her. Whatever, right? Then, uh, you know, all these many years later, finally depositions ensued. He was uh, deposed in this case. He was shown a picture of E. Jean Carroll and himself, and himself, uh, standing outside of, I guess, a theater, and the lawyer for E. Jean said, do you recognize this woman? Do you know who that is? And he said, yes, it's my first wife, Marla. And then, um, you know, he, he continued to den deny that he knew her, blah, 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 this and that. And the jury brought him in guilty and uh, fined him f uh, $5 million for calling her a liar and destroying her journalism career, destroying her. And so... He has never stopped calling her a liar. He has never stopped destroying her. He has never stopped threatening her. He has never stopped uh, insinuating that uh, she's crazy, uh, that she's not his type, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. And so she sued him again for defamation, okay? And this time she's asking for $10 million, for $10 million for lying about his raping of her. 
Now, he was deposed and asked about this as well. He was deposed and asked whether or not he said, when you're a star, you can do what you want. You can grab them by the whatever, right? In this video, I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet, just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what, it's, if you look over the last million years, I guess oh that's been God. Largely true, not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. Or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. 10 mil, okay? He will, she will be given this 10 mil by, uh, by this court. There's no, there's no question. She will get the 10 mil. However, he decided that he was going to make part of his campaign strategy to be in the courtroom, to be in every courtroom every courtroom in which he has already been found guilty. Like, um, oh, I don't know, this one. And Judge Engeron, uh, the bank fraud case. Remember, Judge Engeron was, uh, you know, uh, Trump's lawyers asked for a bench trial. They didn't want a jury trial. We can all sit and ponder why that is. Were they, I don't know, did they screw up so badly? I, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. You know why? You get to actually petition the court and say, I made a mistake. You know, I didn't. Uh, me. But I think it's because he didn't feel like he could get a fair trial by jury in New York. So he asked for a bench trial. Well, Judge Engoran found him uh, guilty in, uh, of bank fraud. And so now the only thing that's left to determine is how much he should be uh, forced to pay back from his ill-gotten gains. And that's what's uh, being litigated. And now he's sitting in Judge Engoran's courtroom. I mean... You know, courtrooms where he's been found guilty, and this one, he's been found guilty too. This courtroom is only determining whether or not the $5 million defamation um, uh, award should be $10 million now because Donald Trump has never stopped threatening E. Jean Carroll, and now the way she lives her life has completely changed, meaning she doesn't go certain places, when she uh, goes to sleep at night, apparently she has a gun nearby. I don't know if it's in the bed or near the bed or beside the bed, but she is terrified because Trump supporters have been threatening to kill her since uh, this case became a case. Okay, and, 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 the other, and so Nikki Haley, this is where this is going, okay, right back to New Hampshire. So Trump is sitting in courtrooms, then leaving the courtroom and going to New Hampshire and claiming he is the biggest victim. He's the one that's been victimized. He, he, he's been traumatized by all this, you know. So E. Jean Carroll may have been traumatized by her rape, but apparently being called out for rape over and over again is also traumatizing. And we should feel sorry for him. We should feel bad for him. And that's why he's sitting in the courtroom while the judge today is like, don't make me throw you out of here because he's agitated in this courtroom and he's yelling and he's, he's talking loud and he's saying, you know, to the judge, oh, she's lying. And, and there's a jury there. There's a jury that's impaneled. That's yesterday was a jury selection. Today they uh, are proceeding with uh, hearing evidence. E. Jean Carroll is on the stand today testifying again about what's gone on uh, since he was found guilty of raping her, and since he was found that he owes her $5 million for defamation, for destroying her life. He, while he's sitting there, not only is he yelling and saying to the judge, oh, you, you, yeah, you're a really nice guy, real nice guy. She's lying. And the judge is going, hey, listen, do not say things that the jury can hear. Okay, you are not on the stand. You are not sworn. You are not a witness at this moment. Do not yell things out or I will have to make you leave. Well, so far he's still there. Trust me, if it wasn't for him, if, it, if he, his last name wasn't Trump, if he wasn't the Donald, he would have been out of there on his uh, behind a long, long time ago. But now we find out that he's sitting at the table and he's posting defamatory statements calling her a liar during the trial on Truth Social. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.